Okay, so today, um, I heard the song. Okay, so today I heard a song by, um, Phil Collins, right? And the song reminded me of Tarzan, right? Because he did the soundtrack for that, for that movie. And then, then I remember Rosie O'Donnell, who also played, did the voiceover for one of the gorillas inside the movie. And when I think of Rosie O'Donnell, I think of Angry Lesbians. And when I think of angry lesbians, I think of feminism, you know, and <laughs> not to offend anyone who is a feminist. I, myself, I, I see, I, I consider myself a self-professed uh, male femi- feminist. I believe that men and women should have equal rights, um, equal respects and uh, equal responsibilities. So with that being said, um, I do occasionally run into other feminists, people that believe that they're feminists, and they speak in unbiased terms, you know? I don't believe that that gender, gender is grounds for, for war, okay? I don't think that anyone should be attacking anyone because of, because they're part of a specific gender. You can't help it. You can't help the fact that you're born either male or female. So there, there is no reason for anyone to, to be um, attacking anyone because of their gender, you know. Um, so basically, when I, when I meet other feminists, supposedly the feminists, um, the females tend to attack males, and when we say feminine, when we say uh, sexism, most women like to immediately jump to the conclusion that sexism only describes women that are being discriminated based on their gender, or sexism, okay, the word sexism, uh, goes for any gender that is being discriminated against. So, a lot of, a lot of feminists fall into the category of sexist, to me, in my opinion, because I run into a lot of them, you know, or at least the ones that I have run into. But lately, I haven't seen any woman that can, you know, calls herself feminist, um, defending males. At all, you know. I mean, I understand that you're trying to fight for women's rights, but there's a lot of bullshit going on. All right, like women are weak. I don't believe women are weak, and I don't believe that women are, are that much fra- too fragile. You know, I don't believe women are all that fragile. Women can take a hit just like a man can take a hit. Now, <laughs> I just say that I that I uh, support domestic violence. I'm completely against it. Don't do it. But um. Basically what I'm saying is a woman should not be able to get away with hitting a man because supposedly a man can take it. No one should be putting their hands on anyone unless you have permission. Okay. Um I, I don't like those double standards. I think that's bullshit. Okay. A lot of times I would have conversations with a girl and we would be talking about oh who should come who should pick up who, who should pick up who. Um and they always say, well, it's the man's job, the man has to be the one that approaches the woman. Now, I think that's stupid. I really think it's stupid. I don't think there is anything wrong with a woman being able to go up to a man, telling her she's interested, and asking him out. You know? There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Or starting a conversation. But to apparently many women, there is a problem with that. Because they think, see, this is all theory you all have, theory in your mind. I don't know who put that in you. Uh, that if a woman wants to ask a man out, someone's going to think you're easy, or you're a slut, or a tramp, or some shit like that. Um, man, I really hate those conversations where 
where men and women are always like, oh, well, it, it sucks more to be female, or it sucks more to be male. We're human. It sucks to be a human, period. And it sucks to be suppressed. It really does. Um, I don't know. I forgot what I, what I was going to say. Basically, I, I don't like, oh, you know, I hate the fact that people are like, oh, well, how can a woman rape a man? Well, it is possible for a woman to overpower a man and abuse him sexually. There have been cases, alright? Um, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. Um, but there have been cases, and, and they're not reported so much because men aren't really believed when it comes down to being raped and overpowered by females because of that double standard, you know, and the bias that women are weak and men are strong, you know, I've plenty of times have seen women beat the shit out of guys, beat the fucking crap out of them, alright, like I've seen a woman knock out a guy, you know, and she was tiny and small and skinny and all that, and the guy would be really, really big and buff, some, you know, it's whatever, size doesn't matter another bullshit story too um and basically that's what I'm saying feminism right, is it, to me another fancy word for sexism against men attack men you know and I don't believe that's how that's what feminism should be whoever considers himself feminist should really consider why you're a feminist and figure out where you stand, okay? Because if you're gonna say that women and men should be equal, then women and men should be equal, all right? Just because a man looks at your boobs because you show cleavage doesn't mean he's being sexist or, you know, is making you a victim. You put yourself in that position, um, you know, and don't think that that men are going to think you're a slut or you're easy just because you dress a certain way. I don't know. Alright, basically it's like, call them like you see. Okay. If you act like a slut, I'm going to think you're a slut. If you look like a slut, I'm going to think you're a slut. And this goes for women too. The woman is the first one to say it actually. I, I'm in a, like, when I'm in a group of of my friends and I would have like one girl or at least a few girls I'll just be chilling with the girls if we just pass by some girls either someone that they're jealous or someone that does look like you know a floozy in other words um the woman is the first one to say it you know she looks like a slut she looks like a skank she looks like a hoe a lot the guys tend to not say shit we keep it to ourselves or we just don't agree. But, okay, I think I fucked myself over right there. Well, that's true. In my group. And I don't know how it is in other people's groups. Right now I'm just ranting. I just lost my point. So basically, let's get back on track. Sexism. Feminism is another word for sexism. And I believe it's biased modern modern time so if you're gonna be a feminist figure out why you're there i'm a feminist i consider myself feminist because i believe that men and women deserve to be equal in power equal in respect and um equal with responsibility no one should have more of anything than the other okay so i'm gonna leave you with that